Hey everyone, it's at Road the Collectors here. We are opening up a brand new box of Bowman 2021. This is a hobby box. You get one autograph per box. We've always had a lot of fun opening Bowman in the past, and hopefully this year is no different. We've hit some really big hits out of this. Let's see if we can pull one here. Yeah, so this Bowman product is pretty strong. We've got, oops, I just knocked the camera sideways there a little bit. Uh, Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. Um, De La Rosa is a pretty good prospect. Um, Austin Martin for the Jays is pretty hot. And then uh, the other guy, Blaze Jordan, is another really, really good seller for the Red Sox. I'm just knocking wow. everything over here. I can't win. What was that Bowman Sapphire you smacked over in the background? I think so. Yeah. It's okay. You can't it's all right. See it anyway. <clears throat> all right. So there are the odds. In case you're interested, very long odds. 10 cards per pack, 24 packs per box, one auto. Let's get into it. I'm just going to scoot this up a little bit. If we get the auto, are we going to save it for later, or are we going to no, just, just pull it? All right. So here's the base design. Pretty <laughs> normal Bowman-ish. I don't mind it. I actually like this more than last year's, I think. It's pretty cool. Pete Alonzo, Manny Machado, Luis Garcia, Casey Mize. Bowman, they always have these every year. They have yeah, these throwback Yeah, they have those cards. throwback ones, yep. And then here we go into the Chromes, Reed Detmeyers, and Ivan Johnson. First Bowman. So if you're new to Bowman, you're looking for the first. There he is right yeah, there, Austin Martin. Austin Martin, that's the guy. So if you're new to Bowman, the first are the ones you're looking for because that means it's their very first Bowman card. Now there's Bowman Draft, there's Bowman, there's Bowman Chrome. It gets a little confusing. Uh, they don't put all the prospects into one product usually. They usually disperse them throughout the year. Yeah, this one you're normally going to get uh, one of the top guys last year and then a couple of the big international signings usually is what ends up happening. Lofton, Rodriguez, and Manoa. Because, like, in draft, they had other guys that were their Bowman's first in 2020 draft that were in the 2020 MLB draft. So uh, this is still from right. the 2020 MLB draft, and then some of the bigger names are in here. Emerson Hancock, uh, position promise. Positional cool, promise. I like that. That Actually, cool. for Bowman inserts are normally pretty <clears throat> lackluster, so I like that one. Didn't we cool. pull his auto and something else? I think so. Yeah, we did. Bryce Terang, Patrick Bailey. There's De La Rosa. Seth Beer and Alex Thomas. There aren't a ton of first Bowmans in here. Um, it tends to be how it goes. Bowman Draft will usually have the most. Have more, Bowman right. Chrome will usually have the least. Uh, but it really just depends. Glaber Torres, another cool insert. Futurist, Corbin Carroll. I actually really like those. those I are think cool. they did a better job on the inserts this year. I agree. Yep. Give that a thumbs up. Robert Pawson, Taylor Trammell. And Miguel Amaya. I think Trammell's now playing for, is it the Mariners? I think he's, Maybe. I, I think know. he's getting playing time, I believe. <clears throat> the Reds? No. no. He was drafted by the Reds, yep. Um, Hugh Darvish, Scooball, Schmidt, Christian Pache. Is this something? No, it's not. I thought it was something for a is second. Is it some kind of a... Is it a thicker stock? No, I just... No. It, the difference between the chrome and the paper <laughs> threw me off. Because in DeVue. Bowman Chrome, they have those variations or whatever that are a little thicker. Yeah, the, those... I think the variations are usually just vets and rookies. They'd be, yeah. I don't think they do that in Bowman, so... I don't think... No, I don't think they ever have. Nothing so far. Uh, color is usually easier to get in Jumbo, but in our experience and from what we've seen from other videos and you know, tons of past year, yeah, Torkelson, top 100. Crazy he's stat, he's, he's pretty, another good one. Yeah, yeah Volpe. Um, it seems like the big autos, a lot of the times, uh, are a little bit easier to get out of Hobby Boxes if you just yeah. do like the price difference. Even though you're only getting one auto, uh, it kind of seems that way. I'm not saying for sure, obviously, <laughs> but... You want to get a Brian Hayes. It's obviously, cool. you want to get a Bowman's first. You want to get a position player if you're looking for value. Oh, a pink shimmer. Interesting coming up. Futurist Robert Hassel. What are, what are those? I have no idea. I'm gonna find out though. Got a fuchsia. Brewer. Those are really sweet looking. Bryce Terang out of 199. I think it's fuchsia. Probably. But yeah. I'm just going to call it a picture. One in every 277, if that's correct. 87 out of one night. That's really, really cool looking. I like that pink. That may I'd, not be right. Well, go ahead. I'd love to get an autograph on the pink like that. That's really cool. So first colored card there. I mean, the odds really don't That wasn't right. That was a wave, though, right? 
Or, uh, uh, no, it's um, not a wave. I don't even make waves anymore, I don't think. It's a, it's a shimmer. Oh, but. shimmer, right, yeah. Yeah, we Fuchsia got, Shimmer is one every 250 packs. Purple Paper. Vlad Guerrero there has is. been on a tear. And we've got an Atomic in this pack. And Nick Lodolo. I don't believe that. Yeah, these are not yeah, numbered. Yeah, those are usually not numbered. Very cool looking. The autographs are, but... Yeah, Bo Naylor. The autographs are usually one of the easier colored ones to get as well. Yep. Um, to pull a colored or an Atomic Auto seems to be a little bit easier. So... Ronald Acuna, Shane Bieber, Christian Yelich, Sean Murphy, Alec Baum, Rookie of the Year favorites, Ed Howard and Bryson Stott, Chromes, and then Colton Welker, Kirby, and Garcia. You get, what, 24 packs in here still. This box we got from Chase at the dugout, and he gave us a really good deal on it. But I think they're going upwards to close to 300 bucks for a hobby box now. Yeah, which makes sense. I mean, it's, I, I'm curious to see. Let us know what you think. Is this Bowman product, if you opened Bowman or collected Bowman last year, do you like this year's rookie, or not rookies, but guys in this class Prospects. more than yep. more than last year with Dominguez, Pawson, and Bobby Lett? I don't know. Yeah, those are those are some pretty big names. I mean, Bobby Whip played out of his mind in a spring training. So, Joey Bart, Talent Pipeline. These are always cool. See the three guys: Ronnie, Mauricio, and there, there he is, he is Bobby, Bobby Whip. Whip. Those are two good guys right there. Um, you know, the the second, third time they're in Bowman, that the cards just don't have the same value. Obviously, as the first, but yeah, exactly. Still, still something there. Yeah, usually. something there, especially if it's Chrome. Got another beefy car. This might be the autograph. Could be bottom. What was it? Bottom right hand corner or bottom left? Bottom right, I think. Yep, yep. it is. Mariel Bautista for the Reds. Well, I know nothing about he's this. He's an guy. outfielder, and it's a Just first. So hey, we'll first. take that. Autograph's a little bit low, but it's a little okay. low. Um, signed as a free agent. All right, cool. So he I'll could look him be up real quick. No international idea. then, right? Uh, yeah, technically, yeah. Yeah, because he's a free agent. I think it would say sign inter like as an international so signing. So on but. the back of the – this is to show you the back of the card. It will tell you, if you're not familiar, it usually tells you where they're drafted. So right here, fifth overall um, for green. So, yeah, uh, always happy to get a position player. We have um, two more boxes of this. We'll probably open up another one on the channel, and uh, then we will do one in our random pack videos. So It's like a $20, $30 auto, so nothing crazy. Yeah, nothing crazy. There's a Dominguez. And we did not pay $300 for this box, uh, so ours was definitely um, a pretty good value. A little bit of color so far, though, which is cool. It definitely, like I had said before, is a little bit trickier to hit color out of the hobby than it is the jumbo, obviously. But Yeah, it always has been. Um, honestly, the colored cards, unless you get one of a top, top guy or a very... Oops, I'm just going to grab these inserts out of here. Hunter Bishop. Unless you get one of a top, top guy or a really, really low numbered, like a red or a super or a gold or something, a lot of them aren't very valuable. Especially the paper vets definitely are not. So. No, no, and some people like to put the set together at Bowman, although it's not that uh, common. But some people do, and I can understand why. You could probably buy paper lots off of eBay for pretty cheap. I'd imagine there's Hunter Green. Um, he's been in this product for a long time, and I know he was out for a whole year last year with I think it was Tommy John. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so anyways, it's kind of a fun set. I love the way it's set up with the paper and the chrome and. Obviously, the chance to pull a massive auto out of here, um, there's a Mount Castle rookie, uh, is you know <laughs> one of the best things about this product. There's a Torkelson. That's a pretty sweet looking card. Like the throwback look of that one. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so there's some. It's always interesting because even though these guys like the Austin Martin um, and those other top guys, those are the big names right now. Two, three years down the road, someone else could pop out of here, and those guys are completely irrelevant. Always seems to happen. So you don't really want to sell necessarily your three, four dollar autos if you don't uh, have to. I mean, it, if they're pitchers, then maybe because yeah, a lot of maybe times pitcher but, autos just don't retain value, even if they turn into the greats. But 
if it's a position player, I would totally hold on to it. Because all they need to do is come up to the big leagues, have a couple of good games, and that card went from a five dollar card to a fifty dollar card. You know. Yeah, and um, one game. One game. So it is a product you really have to be patient with, because some of these guys, they don't get called up for a couple of years at, you know, maybe at best, maybe it's three, four years. Yeah, a lot of the time it is. So, Josh Young. Another first there. There, This guy was the big guy in Bowman Chrome, Laura. Uh, the Rangers have got some talent now coming up. They've got Laura, and then they just got the Maximo guy. So. They're very competitive. Uh, they yeah. just beat the Red Sox last night, I believe. Um, they were in first in that Central Division for a while. Yeah, they're... they're uh, in the West. Are they, they're in the West, aren't they? I think they are. Are they the West? No, they're not the West. Are they? I think they're the West. I think they're with the, in the AL West. I don't know. They, the in them. Here's a Cronenworth uh, card. So he didn't have any cards last year. He's a really good player for the uh, Padres. Um, I don't know because when I watched baseball as a kid, everything was so much different. And then they changed it and it seemed like they changed it again. So I get all confused as to who's in what division. I think they're in the West. I'm going to look. But. In the in the old days, of course, you had um, the Brewers in the American League, and now, of course, they're in the National League. Um, and you had different divisions um, all together. So, as an old guy, I don't know my divisions as well as I should. Uh, I know all the teams and the leagues. Yeah, I know. They're not doing the expanded postseason this year. Um, that's not happening. Which is kind of too bad. I kinda, yeah, I kind of wish they were. I, I enjoyed that last year, but I can't. There's an Acuna load it. insert. Whitley, he's been in this product for a very long time. Yeah, he has. And here you got a paper first, and then back to some of the... Base. Well, one thing about Bowman, when you sort this stuff, you have to really figure out what you're going to do to sort it. Because yeah, it's like a ton of different ways. You too. can sort it by first. You can sort it by rookies. You can sort it just in number order. What you know, however you want to do it. But it is or kind of a sort it. or just not sort it. Just throw it in a box. And I would recommend putting if you can. He's good. If you can sleeve a lot of the good Chrome cards, I'd recommend doing that. Just because. Yeah, just to keep to the bend. surface. Yep. Yeah, and the surface is important. So. Obviously, the Tigers have had some really good picks over the years. Here we go. There's a nice Torkelson. Now, obviously, he's not a first, so um, that was in uh, draft last year, correct? Mm, yeah. Torkelson was in or draft. Two years ago. No, last year. Last year. Yeah. Because his... Um, oh, yeah, it was last year. Yeah, I think it will say right here, drafted, yeah, 2020. Yep, yep first overall. So if you want a Torkelson first, you get to pay big bucks to get a box yeah, of Bowman draft. draft is it's like crazy. So that class is pretty crazy though in the draft because they put all the big guys in draft. Really, we have not pulled any color on this other side of the box. I haven't gotten anything on that side. It was all on my side. Yep, Luke got it all. He picked the I good waited. side. Actually, he always gets the right side. I always get the left side, and it seems to sometimes be consistent per case in other cases it's not and then yeah sometimes it's evenly distributed and yeah sometimes it doesn't really matter i don't know if you open up a case of stuff then you can really oh the corner i just nicked the corner on that one oops i was trying to avoid that and it's like a it's a blue paper it's a blue paper Way great it's by austin martin <clears throat> paper trevor bauer solaire there's a adley Jonathan India, he's playing for the uh, Reds right now. Gomez, yep. and let's see the card that I dinged up. Oh, oh it doesn't matter. Yeah, Matthew Levitore. I mean, it's not bad. It may have actually come out of there that no, way, but I think not. I did it. So don't buy this card from us if you want to gem it. It's number to four ninety nine. Number to four ninety nine. So we did get one color out of the back, um, yeah. and then here's the rest of the stuff right here. I do like that pink. Um, shimmer pink. that's that cool looks awesome i wish um, they had more pink cards i do like the design they didn't make it crazy and they made it um you know very readable legible and and attractive i think so I agree. we'll open up another box on the channel 
Uh, let us know what you think. Um, have you bought any? Are you looking forward to retail? I don't think that comes out for another week. So let us know if you find any retail. Uh, let us know what you find. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to that. That way you know when we post a video. And comment below. Let us know how you think we did, and let us know how you like the product this year. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next break.